everyone and welcome to this video. So I'm actually home at the moment, I'm back from my holiday. I went to Chicago for a couple of weeks with my boyfriend and had an amazing time. I'm so glad to be home now, it's just nice to be home with all my home comforts um, and a nice comfy bed as well. So I'm actually in my room but I've just changed where I'm filming, I'm just filming on my bed because I haven't finished unpacking yet and my stuff is all over my room, <laughs> it's just awful. So I thought I would just film by here for now and film a couple of videos by here. So today I'm just going to do a bit more of an in-depth review of my current foundation. So this is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique foundation and I have it in rose porcelain. It comes in seven different colours um, and it retails for £10.99 so it currently is £10.99 in boots. Um, this foundation's got a dewy finish so you, when you buy a foundation they either usually have a matte finish a satin finish or a dewy finish and this one's a dewy finish so it kind of makes your face look um, a bit like it's got a bit of a glow and that's what I really like I've got quite dry skin so I like more of a glow to my face and I think usually if people have quite oily skin they tend to go for a matte foundation to kind of counteract it um, but it's totally perfect personal preference I really like this dewy finish and it's one of the reasons I got this foundation was because of the finish um, I went in to get the L'Oreal True Match because I think they have a lot better range of colours than this one but then I found this one and it was a nicer finish so I just figured I'd go for this one. Uh, this foundation's got a medium to full coverage and it's buildable so what that means is once you've put a layer on you can put another layer on if you want more of a coverage. So I really like the packaging of this foundation. It's in a glass bottle which is really nice. I like the glass bottles compared to the plastic ones. I just think they look more expensive and they're just a bit more upmarket. It's also got a nice pump which is really handy. A couple of foundations I've bought recently like the Revlon ones haven't had a pump which is just like why would you not put a pump on there so much easier. And it's got a nice colour scheme as well. It's got the gold, the rose gold right in. It's just it all ties in nicely and looks very sort of professional and upmarket. Um, so a couple of tips with this foundation. I use one and a half to two pumps over my face. Now if I'm using a beauty blender or my fingers I'll use one and a half and if I'm using a stippling brush I use two and that's because when I'm using a stippling brush I'll put the foundation on my hand first and I always use a bit extra to account for the bit that sort of stays on my hand that you never really get off. Um, so that'll take about two pumps with the stippling brush. And the stippling brush I use is the one from Real Techniques and um, it's a really nice brush, it's nice and dense and it really can really buff in your foundation with it. Stippling brushes tend to give you a really flawless finish with your foundation um, because you're really working the foundation into the skin. Most often now I'll use my Beauty Blender to apply this foundation and if you want to see a tutorial on that check out my How to Use a Beauty Blender tutorial where I actually do use this foundation. I was used to use it with my fingers and that's fine, it was really easy to apply and rub in and it didn't tend to leave um, any sort of like patches or anything like that it just looked quite nice like that um, but I do I do find it's quite it's a bit quicker with a beauty blender compared to your fingers as well and I don't have an authentic beauty blender it's a dupe of a beauty blender and it still works fine so if you can't afford an authentic one like me um, then just go get one of the cheap ones I got mine from just a beauty shop and they sell them everywhere in boots superdrug everywhere now so I find that if I apply this foundation with my fingers or a stippling brush, it tends to be more dewy than with a beauty blender. I don't know why, but the beauty blender seems to kind of tone down the dewiness of it. It's still glowing and it still makes your skin glow and looks lovely, but it's not as dewy, um, which is fine. Every day I tend to use the beauty blender and then some days I'll just switch to the stippling brush just to mix it up a bit. So just a little tip about that, it does um, look more dewy with a stippling brush or with your fingers. Thanks for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of like shorter review of just one product, I think I'm going to do a couple more of these um, and if you liked it just press like and if you want to see more then subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.